Hey everyone, it's Jenny Garcia from earthyscrap.blogspot.com and earthyscrap on Facebook and in this video I have a spooky lettering tutorial using the Tombow dual brush pens. I will also will be using the new Tombow Twin Tones and the drawing pens. So first you want to do the base of your lettering using the dual brush pens. This is um, sped up four times so make sure that you take your time to really draw your strokes and now I'm gonna use the Tombow Twin Tones to draw blood dripping out of the letters and I'm using the fine tip of the Twin Tone like the dual brush pen it has a very fine tip and a broad felt tip and now if, if you look at my letters the top of the letters it's really dark and then it gets lighter that's because if you look at the gray letters that's because of the pressure that I apply when you do down strokes you want to press down with a heavy pressure when you go up you want to release that pressure and go really light and my plan with the drippings was to make it look like the blood from the letters above was dripping on the ones below and this actually took quite a long time I think it's the longest part of the whole process I also drew some uh, drops of blood in random places to fill the spaces and this is how it looks so now I'm gonna use the mono joint pen and this is the um, zero one and I normally to outline my letters I use the three or most of the time the five but in here I didn't want my letters to be really thick so I am using the number one and it's gonna make the letters look a bit shaky kind of like tombstones it's really it's easier to draw a straight line with a bigger tip than it is with a thinner one and I'm gonna go around the whole letter and the and the blood too. And you can also do the blood dripping with the fine tip of the Tumbo dual brush pen. But if you wanna be precise, I recommend the twin tones. And now I'm gonna do some doodles. I wanted to make some scary faces in the letters, but I didn't like how it looked. So I just drew a few a few uh, cobwebs around the ladders and I prefer that one to the other one and uh, to draw the cobwebs I use the Tombow Fudenosuke twin tip it has black and gray you can also use the Tombow twin tone there is a gray one I believe is in the pastel set or you can use the thin tip of the Tombow Dewar brush pen and this is really easy I think that the hardest part and it wasn't hard it was just time consuming was the blood dripping that's what I didn't put the whole thing in there I want you to get an idea not to watch the whole thing because it would have lasted I don't know like an hour maybe and I also this video is sped up the whole thing so you know patience just take your time to draw your lines and add your details and you want to put at least one cobweb on each letter and since I drew a scary face in the first letter I wanted to draw another one in the last letter and this is the Tombow for the Nosuke twin tip, twin tip and now I'm going to, to scribble with the red dual brush pen on the blending palette I'm gonna add very little water with the Tombow mister and then I'm just gonna sprinkle that red onto my lettering to make it look like blood 
And this is how the whole thing looks. I really like it. It's really spooky and gory. And I normally don't like gory things, but I really like how this turned out. So I hope this tutorial helped you out a little bit. I hope you enjoy it. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you want to want to see more, make sure you subscribe. If you want to see a few more lettering projects and tips, make sure you follow me on social media. I am Jenny Garcia N on Instagram, Twitter, Uh, Periscope and Pinterest. I'm Earthy Scrub on Facebook and my blog is Earthy Scrub the blogspot.com. I'm also sharing many projects on the Tumbo blog, which is blog.tumbousa.com. Thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing, spooky day. Enjoy your Halloween. Bye.